Andre Iguodala, another, I think, very polarizing case of is he a Hall of Famer because there's that one big thing there, and it's that finals MVP trophy. I don't know if we've seen any finals MVPs not go into the Hall of Fame besides, you know, Chauncey Billups, who was mentioned earlier. I don't think he's in. But uh, let's start with you, Devin. Let's let's switch up the order a little bit. What's your take on Andre Iguodala's Hall of Fame case? I do not have Andre Iguodala in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and like you say, the finals MVP is the biggest thing that gives him the argument to be in the Hall of Fame. Outside of that, his pedigree is just not that of a Hall of Famer. Now, evidently, the team's success is there. He's got the four rings. He's been a very good defender. He's got two-time all-defensive teams to represent that. But he's only a one-time All-Star. His peak was never that of an All-Star type performer. He's never averaged over 20 points per game throughout his career. He hasn't averaged over 10 (laughs) points per game in now nearly a decade. And given he was good in Philadelphia, and he had a decent year in Denver. But he's just never been that top-tier guy to me that shows he's a Hall of Famer. Now, given he's played very well as a very valuable role player in Golden State, the team's success is there evidently. But I don't have enough outside of that team's success to give it to him. He's been a very good player, but to me is a Hall of Very Good who's boosted by that team's success. And you can make the argument that that finals MVP is also should have gone either to one of two other players. That's an argument for another day, but he was great in that finals run. So I don't want to discredit him for that either way. But when I look at what I see outside of the team success, I just don't see a guy who was ever a hall of fame quality player, great impact and a very valuable player on a lot of good title winning teams, but not quite at that level as a guy who's a hall of famer. He's, very good, but not quite there. Yeah, I completely agree. Just the pedigree is not there. When you watch him, the eye test tells you he's a winning player, sure. But he, you watch him and you're like, he affects winning, but he's not a great player. And in my opinion, to make the Hall of Fame, you have to be a great player. One all-star game is just not cutting it. And in my opinion, he's not even close to making the Hall of Fame. Um, I mean, if he doesn't have that finals MVP, we're not even like somebody will bring up Andre Iguodala in this conversation and they're going to die laughing because that is so stupid. And I, and then he has that finals MVP. And I don't think many people will bring this up in the future. If he does make the Hall of Fame, I don't people are, I don't think people are going to be like, oh, he barely won that finals MVP or he shouldn't have won the finals MVP. I don't think people are going to say that. But think about it now. He probably shouldn't have won that finals MVP or if he if not probably shouldn't have. There's a debate that he shouldn't have. And if that's the case, the, your finals MVP is barely, 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 barely carrying you into this conversation. And then you're like, oh, well, uh, you know, he probably shouldn't have been it. So then you look at one all-star, one-time all-star, yeah, two-time all-defensive. All that's pretty cool, but not Hall of Fame worthy. On his career, 11 points per game. I understand that he wasn't an all-time level scorer which is another reason he's not going to be in the Hall of Fame. He was a great defender at times, which is another reason that he could be in the Hall of Fame, but it wasn't consistent consistent enough to be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. I just don't understand how Andre Iguodala could be anywhere close to the Hall of Fame. You're going to hate me because I have him as a Hall of Famer. I have Iggy as a Hall of Famer. Listen, his... When we talk about some of the greatest dynasties, we're talking about the Warriors and his role in that closing lineup in one of the best dynasties ever. They're they've they're etched in history forever, and he's part of that. He was integral to that. His 2015 finals performance, whether you want to debate it or not, you can also debate the fact that Iggy was He was one of the guys that helped to, I don't want to say stop LeBron because LeBron still did his thing, but slowed him down enough to where the Warriors were able to win. And this was before they had KD. And you can, again, you can also debate the finals MVP and that it could have gone to someone else. However, if it goes to Iggy, I can also say he won a finals MVP over the greatest shooter ever. So that... To me, that also boosts his his credibility with regard to that because, as you said before, 
it does show that he's a winner on paper. And to me, I think he was a pretty good player wherever he went. He was an all star and had it, no, it wasn't above 20 points per game, but it was near 20 point per game in uh, Philly. He was the second best player on that underdog uh, Denver team that won 56 games back in 2013. And again, like I said, what he did in Golden State, it speaks for itself. And from 2010 to about 2018, and I may even argue about 2019, 2020, he, he was an all-time defender. He, he was playing very good defensively, ended up becoming a very good high IQ passer, high IQ player. And even in their ring, in, in the chase for their ring in 2020, or 2021, excuse me, I think that he would have been more integral with it. I, I don't want to say playing, but just being there and actually being active for this team, it would have done well for them. But regardless, he's left his imprint in history, just mainly being on a team that was a dynasty. That, that already in itself just... It etches his own name in history, and I think that also carries weight into him being in Hall of Famer going forward. I hear what you're saying. Like, there's no doubt he is etched in history with this group as a dynasty, and deservedly so, because after Curry, after Clay, after Draymond, he's the next name that comes up, and it should be the next name that comes up. He's deserved to be in that conversation. I, I just don't know if I can put a guy who's only ever been a role player within that dynasty as a guy who I can put in the hall of fame. I can say, retire the number, give him a ton of credit, finals MVP, very good player on some competitive teams earlier in his career when he was more of a borderline all-star guy. But I don't know if him having that success within that dynasty as a role player is enough for me to say as a hall, he's a hall of famer, but Great player, no doubt about it. I don't want to discredit what he meant to that dynasty, but I think he should be celebrated within the Warriors organization more than he should be celebrated in the Basketball Hall of Fame. He's just such a winning player. I think when you look at his whole career, like he was an all-star caliber player and obviously a one-time all-star in the late Philly and the Denver days. And then he really bought into that role with Golden State. And that was one of the last pieces that really allowed them to start winning at the highest level. And so when people think of that dynasty, like Steph is saying, like he's going to be one of those guys that you always think about, you know, especially the first half of the dynasty, the pre KD days. I mean, he won that finals MVP when they got the job done. And then once KD got there, well, that wasn't a really deep team. So, I mean, when your star players wanted to take a breath, who was out there, you know, getting the job done, keeping things afloat until those guys could get get their breath back. It was it was Iguodala, man. And then even something none of you guys mentioned, he left Golden State for a little bit. And as soon as he left Golden State, the team he went to in Miami, they went to the finals. And so I'm not going to say that wait, was all. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to. Didn't gonna, Andre Iguodala literally hate everything about being in Miami? No, he hated being in oh, Memphis. Memphis. It Memphis, was Memphis. Memphis, Memphis, and Memphis. Memphis. But listen, he went there, and I'm not going to say that he was, like, the reason they made the finals because that would be a little bit outlandish. You know, they've had, they had Haslam there. They had Coach Bo. Jimmy's a dog. But they had a, a championship pedigree like that, bro. I don't think it's any secret that he went to – Four or five straight finals with the Warriors and then went to a six straight finals going to Miami. Six straight finals? I can't buy into that's a lot of, that's a lot of winning, bro. But I listen. can't buy into being a role player. Uh that that albeit is a winning player and knows how to win, but a role player on a team that we're considering a Hall of Fame, a Hall of Fame level player should not their criteria should not be able to make team or keep team afloat. That should not be the criteria for Hall of Fame. Hey, but what? Listen, bro. But he was a clutch performer in these finals as well. The classic clip that will live forever. I want Iguodala, bro. And there's a this reason dude, it Iguodala, was mean, he'd bro. Always, he'd, he'd always come up big in the biggest. It, it, it was mean, you know, but mean? it was funny because like, it ended Curry, up being true. Nick Curry hit or no Iguodala did? Am I wrong, Devin Raptors fan? 
Who hit the game winner in game two of that finals? Don't remind me. <laughs> it was Iguodala, bro. And listen, I just think I think his overall cur- career stats could have looked better if he was not in Golden State, and he really did sacrifice a lot. But I think he's a player who his true impact isn't what the stats show, which is kind of fitting for another Warriors player because Draymond's kind of the same way. He just has more accolades. I, I just can't buy into if he didn't go to Golden State, he would whatever have more accolades. When, in my opinion, he would like, I, I just don't see how he might have had a couple more All Star game appearances. I'll give you that. He might have been a three or four time All Star. But then he doesn't have the finals MVP. And then are you giving a four time All Star a Hall of Fame nod? Probably hey, not. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Andre Iguodala, we were just talking about this with Kyrie Irving. It is the Hall of Fame. Andre Iguodala is a famous player, bro. Like, no, every he's night, not. bro. He literally, the not, Hamptons not, Five? No, no, no. Hamptons Iguod- five? Iguodala is a famous player in the NBA community. Casuals, like you go, who, casuals who only dude, watch the finals see Andre Iguodala every Casuals, year, you go to most so, casuals on the street, they are not going to tell you and know who Andre Iguodala is. I'm going to yeah, be honest. Bro. It's the, it's not the same level of impact as Kyrie nah, had. Bro, it's not even close. Are- you Casuals are bandwagon Warriors fans. Bro. No, dude. they know Iguodala. Dude, bandwagon. That's a fact. Bandwagon, <laughs> bandwagon, bandwagon, bandwagon fans that are casuals don't take the time out of the day to learn the actual roster. They'll know the three players bro. that are that are that are really good if they're truly a casual. He's if in the are, closing lineup. If they are he truly literally. a casual, they will he know, won a Finals MVP, know, bro. bro. What are they we talking know, about? They will know. So you think every cat or every casual NBA fan knows every single finals Bro, finals MVP of all time? I think I casual Warriors, not. Wait, I think casual wait, no, no, Warriors fans. Casual know the Warriors guy fan who is won different. The finals MVP. No, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking more just casual fans. Period. Casual fans in general are usually Warriors fans. I don't think that's necessarily true. They also true. watch the finals. I don't yeah. think that's okay. And they saw Andre sure. Iguodala lift the trophy above his head, dude. My dad will watch basketball every once in a while with me. That doesn't mean he knows every single player, right? Or the value or the impact that they had on their specific team. But he'd know Andre Iguodala, and that's why he's a Hall of No, he doesn't. Why are we arguing about what casuals know about be- a player? Be- because he brought because he brought up the fact that the impact is the same as Kyrie Irving. Nah, when it's I, didn't not. Say, I didn't say it was the same. I'm saying that how famous he is and he's how not, well known he's not he's as famous be. as Kyrie Irving. Not as famous, but he is still famous. Sure, okay, he's famous because of the I want I want Iguodala, the Finals MVP. Sure, but are we going to talk about there, there? We were talking about Kyrie borderline making the Hall of Fame with his credentials, and now we're saying Andre Iguodala with his credentials. One was on a dynasty; the other was on teams that either a he won once. Don't get me wrong, but then once no. he left, they couldn't so, win. So we're then he goes to the Nets. No winning. Dude, Listen, so you're trying to, you're trying to tell playoffs. me you're trying to tell me Andre Iguodala he doesn't go to the Warriors that and he was on the Cavs instead. Okay, you're trying to tell me that he would have anywhere close to accolades that Kyrie had. I'm not doing what is with you. I'm going off of what happened and what happened is Andre Iguodala was a part of a dynasty. Okay, an important part a of role dynasty. player on a dynasty. Kyrie Irving was the second best player on a, on a finals winning team when Andre Iguodala throughout that whole season was he not was the he was best never player. the best player on a finals team. He was Iguodala? never the best player on a finals team. It, who Iguodala? Yeah, he was not the best player on a finals team. How the whole when season. he won a finals MVP? That because doesn't even make finals, sense because the finals MVP only uh, accumulates for the finals. The whole season. So he and was the, the best player nope. for the finals. For the finals, but not, on the finals but not for the team. He was I not the best on, player I on said, the team. I said, was he the best player on the finals and, team? And no, no. You and said here's no. The thing, here's the thing. I don't even think he was, but he won the finals MVP, so we'll Therefore, say that. He was. So, well, no, that's not how that works. That's the best player yes, in the finals. Best. No. <laughs> if, the, if, the media votes, if the media votes for a player, that does not automatically mean that they had the most impact on the series. You, all we right, know so this. Then, we all know every this. Every finals MVP is in we, No, that's not what I'm saying. But They're we all voted were, by the media. We were literally all talking about this earlier. How that he, there's a genuine argument that he shouldn't have been finals MVP. 
So if we're going to say he was the best Regardless player on the Regardless of if there's an argument or not, he won it. Okay. He won he was, it. He was the best player for one series in the finals. And his the rest of his Something career. Something Kyrie wasn't. He played with the best basketball player of all time. <laughs> Are you calling Stephen Curry the best basketball player no, of all no, time? No, no, no. I'm saying Kyrie played with the best basketball player of all time. But if he was talking about Steph Curry, I thought I you were like <laughs> No, 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 no. Kyrie played with the best basketball player of all time. Hey, bro. That's what I was talking about earlier. I could see it either way, Justin. I just needed to rile you up. 